Today we are comparing these two Lano battery chargers. Uh, they both are battery chargers for camera batteries. I'm going to show you kind of in detail the differences between these two products. So on this side is the smaller one and this one comes with a bag, a USB-C to USB-C cable, and then a little strap. It also comes with <clears throat> two of the camera batteries which is really handy so if you need extra batteries this is a really great option because it does come with two on this side we have this lano which comes with the bag <clears throat> a usb c to usb c cable and then the unit itself it does not come with any batteries so you have to provide your own so if you're looking to get some extra camera batteries with the unit this may not be the unit for you you might want to go this direction so on this one right here, you could charge both batteries in two and a half hours while charging the unit. On this one, you could charge two batteries in 2.8 hours. So it's a little slower um, than this one, but again, size, it's a little smaller. So really depends on what you're looking for in a camera battery setup. These are both fast chargers. Um, they both go quite a bit faster than a traditional charger. Um, and then on this one, you have the capacity for two batteries only, while this one does have the ability to do a SD card storage slot right on the top. So that's really handy if you're looking for extra storage. So both of these units have screens on the front that will tell you your battery percentage levels with on and off buttons. So there's not batteries in this one, but this tells you the battery charge of the device itself, and I'll explain why shortly. So if I want to put the batteries in, just like this, and then you can see that will read the battery charge percentage around the front, so it's super handy. And then this has a magnetic lid, and then this one is uh, like a, a snap lid, so it pops open with the release. Um, this unit allows you to have input and output on USB-Cs, and then this one is input only to charge the batteries. This unit does not have any battery storage, so you have to have it plugged into the wall to be able to recharge the batteries. This unit actually is a built-in battery. That's why it's quite a bit larger. So you're able to charge the batteries. You're able to charge the unit. You're able to use the output to charge your AirPods, iPhone, things like that, or other devices. We were sent these to try out and give you some feedback. So I really like both of them. I think they both have uh, great you know, options on what you need. Just depends on what your setup is and what you're looking for. So I uh, highly suggest checking both these products out if you're interested.